Good morning everybody, AJ here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to blur or change your background in Microsoft Teams. If you find this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you really wanna supercharge the way you're using Microsoft Teams, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into it. I've opened up Microsoft Teams here and I'm in my calendar. But before we jump into a meeting, I wanna do a little bit of troubleshooting first with you because you may not have this feature turned on yet. So if you don't have the option to blur or change your background in Microsoft Teams, what you wanna do is make sure you have the latest version, the most up-to-date version of the app. To update Teams is really simple. In the app, just go to the right, top right hand corner, select on your profile picture, scroll down to where it says check for updates, and then Teams will look for updates in the background. So if you feel like you're missing features or you don't have items like blowing your background, um, the first protocol is always checking that you have the latest version, the most up-to-date version of Microsoft Teams. So now that we've updated our Teams, let's learn how to change and blow our background. So now all we have to do is join a meeting. I've got a fake one here called Blow Your Background. Let's open that up. And in the top right-hand corner again, we're gonna hit Join. The meeting's gonna pop out and we're gonna have the options of turning on our microphone, turning, turning it off, turning on our camera, so hello, you can see me. And before we hit the Join Now option, you can see there's a little person with the shades behind them just, went, just above my mouse cursor. If I select on this little person, on the right hand side you see all these background settings appear and you can either just blow your background see how the mirror's gone a bit, uh, bit fuzzy and you can't really see the kitchen anymore. There's some preset ones that Microsoft has built into Teams, whether it's the beach, whether it's some balloons, partying, whatever it, whatever it may be. And you have the option here to add in your own custom backgrounds. So to add in your own custom backgrounds, you just want to go to the top where it says add new. So it's just up here. We're going to select the option of add a new background and then you just have to navigate to where your backgrounds are saved. So I'm just gonna to go to my desktop. I've got a folder here called Teams Backgrounds and I've got a few sample backgrounds to load in. Let's open that, scroll down and now select, it could be that you wanna sit on the, on the couch with the Simpsons or if you wanna drop in a different background, it could be that you wanna be chilling in Coogee Beach. Even when you can't get to the beach, you know it's nice to be able to see it behind you and think of uh, Think of times when you weren't on Teams calls and when you, when you actually were at the beach or loading the Windows XP Bitlist desktop. Whatever you want, just you select the option of add new and you're loading your own images. So now I'm going to hit join the meeting. The meeting is going to start and it's going to start with whatever background you chose. If we exit this meeting like I'm going to do now and then jump back into it or jump into any new meeting, the great thing is Teams is going to save that background that you chose so you're not having to reload it all the time. It's sort of like set and forget. You pick the background you want and it's always going to appear there. So let's join the meeting. But what if you're on a call with some colleagues and you had a background behind you like the Simpsons couch, but that's not really appropriate for say something like a sales call or a call with a customer. If you've joined a meeting and you've forgotten to change your background, you don't have to exit and then change your background. You can actually scroll up to the ellipses here within the meeting, select more options, and then if you go down to the option that says apply background effects, you can change your background effects within the meeting and you can even add a new background. So say you, you joined a call with a customer, you realized, oh wait, that's the wrong background. I actually need something a bit more professional. Let me just pick the beach real quick. You can preview it. So you can see what it looks like before it appears on the other person's screen. And then if you go apply and turn on video, cool. You've changed it to a much more professional looking background. You can start your meeting. And the great thing is you won't have to worry about anything behind you and you won't have to worry about having a silly or kooky background. Cool, and it is that simple to change or blur your background in Microsoft Teams. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you really wanna supercharge the way you use Microsoft Teams, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.